Testing, testing. Can you hear me with the wind? Can you hear me with the wind? Taking the covers off. So we can work on this sunroof I stepped through. You stepped through the sunroof? How'd that happen? <laughs> Putting on this actual cover, backing up and not paying attention. And I should have a little clip I can splice in there. Literally stepped through the skylight. Now I gotta replace this thing. Ugh. So he stepped through the skylight over our shower, so he had to order a replacement piece, which cost about $150. And now he is in the process of repairing it. While he's working on that, I'm gonna be working on organizing the inside of the trailer. Our next trip that's coming up is quite long and we are trying to prepare the inside for it to be more practical since we have such a small space for the four of us. Be careful up there. You throw the camera up here. I don't want to throw this camera. This is a new camera. Can you pass it to me if you know what I meant? Take a shot of Please be careful. I kind of try to put them together so it's not exposed, but yeah, it's that shower. <laughs> a couple pieces down in the shower if you can see. So I gotta remove this caulking and uh, replace it with a new one. So I gotta replace this piece and the dome piece for the shower. One of the finds that uh, we found at Ikea was this little trash can that you can mount or you can uh, stick it on the side of a cabinet. It has little adhesive strips on the back. This was $3.99 at Ikea. So I am gonna spray paint it uh, silver just because I don't like the way it looks. So I'm gonna spray paint that and let that sit out to dry while we organize the rest of the RV. Part of this is removing this stuff, this putty, and not, and not messing up the roof. That's the hardest part. So uh, I'm getting there. I'm almost done. Once you remove that, it's just a couple screws. Remove and replace. Real simple. Okay. Yeah. So um, it's gonna be pretty easy. An easy repair. I wish my painting was just as easy. No, I'm sure the wind isn't helping. Yeah, it keeps blowing away. Uh oh. Do I have uh, spray paint on the lens? Oh okay. Well, I'm gonna start organizing. Let me show you my trash can project. I suck at painting, but I still do it anyway, which drives Henry nuts. So I was using the spray paint and then of course it stopped coming out nicely and just started like dribbling out, which I don't really care. Once we put a bag in that and mount it, you won't even be able to tell that it's like uneven distribution. I don't care. He might care, but I don't care. I think it'll be fine. I'll check back in in a minute. All right, guys. So uh, I was able to remove the top cover. This is what it looks like make sure you have the right tools for the job I had to dig and try to find this because I didn't have a scraper and this is just a chisel a nice uh, maybe what's this half inch or one inch chisel and I basically use this to scrape around the edges and then uh, unscrew about 15 million screws these are the ones with the square type so make sure you have a square bit like this well, I don't know if that's a square, but this is the kind of bit you'll need for this RV if you have a lance. I don't know if most RVs use those kind of screws. These are the, uh, I don't know, these shaped screws. I don't know if you can see that. 
um yeah it's probably about 30 screws all the way around just remove it put the new one on and put new goop and then go inside the shower and remove the dome that's another part that you'll need for that so i'll do that next That was kind of satisfying. <laughs> but anyway, we gotta hurry up. Uh, Cause it looks, looks like it's gonna rain. I'm gonna hold off on the caulk for now and do the shower dome inside. That way I know it fits before I seal everything. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Let's go see what Maya's doing inside. Hey, um, I need to get in that shower. Okay. You're almost done. Don't look like you're almost done with no, the food. I'm not done, but I can move this stuff. So this is what it looks like from the inside. So I gotta just basically just remove a couple screws here, remove and replace. Should be a simple job. I think I got all the screws out, so this should yeah, pretty easy. Got the other cover on. I just gotta caulk it, but I don't wanna caulk it just yet. I got the wrong dome. Um, as you can see, they're a little different shape. It won't seat properly in the shower but at least we can still seal the outside and maybe order a new shower dome if it doesn't get here in time then we'll, we'll be fine but we definitely want to put one in because it just looks ugly like this and things are exposed the foam is exposed that's the insulation so right now our trailer is in disarray because i am trying to reorganize everything henry has left me here at the storage facility he's gone to um general rv to try to find another dome hopefully we can get that taken care of before we leave as you can see it's a hot mess up in here but um we also have quite a few repairs to make as you can see this little doodad like came undone it's just kind of dangling this area really is not working out well actually i just reorganized it and now i have these little bins it's hard to see but i have these little bins that we got from ikea which should work out a bit better the problem with this area is that whenever we would travel everything would shift around and since there's no like tension bar or anything in these cabinets everything would kind of shift forward and then when we would go to open this cabinet stuff would fall out and that's not good so right now i'm just trying to place everything here's one that i haven't put away yet but these are cheap and they have the lip which is nice that's what i'm doing right now again i'm gonna go through these cabinets and just kind of reorganize everything and take out things that we don't really utilize because space is limited so i'm gonna get back to work well no luck uh, they took the measurements so they can order. It's kind of windy, so I'll be quick. Yeah, they took the measurements so they can order the part. I still don't know how much it costs because they have to call around and see if they can even find it. So they will let me know. But at least I can reinstall this old piece. And it's mainly f for uh, privacy because it has the little foggy glass on top. Because right now, if we don't install this, you can easily look into the shower and clear as day see what you're doing in there i'm probably just going to reinstall this and uh, we'll deal with it and until we get the new piece and the cool thing about it is well, i got the main piece which is the exterior piece and i'll just seal that up and we'll be good to go and we don't have to worry about any uh water getting inside the rig in the meantime we're going to do some other things like installing this bar so we can uh, hang things like containers and kitchenware so we bought this from Ikea and it fits perfectly right on this wall. We, we could have got two, babe. We could have got two on both sides, but. Right. One should be good. Yeah. So what do you plan on doing, putting in though? Those racks? Those no. hooks? Who knows? I just, like, when I start cooking, I have, like, stuff all over the counter. And as you can see, we really don't have counter space mm -hmm. at all. I'm gonna try to cook outside more. We don't have a grill right now, so once we have a grill, maybe I'll start doing stuff outside and I'll have more space. But 
right now we got to utilize like we got to go vertical right that's what they say when you don't have space in front of you start utilizing space on the walls and moving up so that's kind of where we are right now yeah and she had a good idea with the oven since we don't use the oven very often yeah so additional storage yeah <laughs> drinks and our big salad bowl yeah it's a perfect space yeah. that we don't utilize it's huge so right now i have a lot of glass lids for my pans i've decided to use these silicone lids to try to free up some space the lids for my pans and pots are kind of bulky and these are flexible so we'll see how that works out and here's an update to this area so if we are moving around even if this comes forward it's not going to come out it's too wide all of this stuff should be secure Perfectly level shelf. So here is the final product from a professional handyman. <laughs> if there is such a thing. Check it out. So that's, let me take this light off. Maybe that looks a little better. Maybe not. All right, so that's gonna help a lot because this usually is filled with spices and Condiments. all types of paraphernalia. <laughs> And now we can get it all off the counter and she can add more paraphernalia, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> more more room for more stuff. I mean, when you think about it, I really don't have any counter space. I mean, this Yeah. This is the sink. And sometimes I need to u utilize the sink. I mean, it's hard to see it, but... It's a little messy. Um, We're working. But yeah, so this is the stove, which I use. And then literally, this is all the counter space well you got the little thing on the side too but yeah but i don't really trust this thing i mean sometimes i like will sit stuff on there that you well know, if you I, I don't mind if it falls but well if I, you forget to um put the little legs out yeah if you that's forget the to thing. put the legs out it will collapse so right. um i mean just don't forget to put the legs out and it's fine but right. after a while sometimes i forget to put the legs out <laughs> So anyway, we're going to throw up some more command hooks and just make use of what we have. And I'm excited. Thanks, babe. Yeah, no problem. Next up, we're going to install the trash can. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is the, uh, as you can see, nice and level. This is how I do it. Oh, my God. You're so cocky. <laughs> anyway, this is our trash solution that we came up with. That way it's out of the way because this thing, this big old beast... It's always like, get that thing out of here. So we're always trying to figure out where to put it, right? Mm -hmm. We always move it around in different positions all over the rig and it's driving us nuts. So this should help us. I mean, it's smaller, but would you have to hang a big trash bag on the outside somewhere it, on a tree? Yeah, it'll be fine. And that's where we'll dump it. So this is going to be I'm really excited. big time. And we bought an extra just in case yeah. that one breaks. Look at this. Look how she's walking around. Look at this. Come on, man. Why are you put me on blast? Look at that. Why are you judging? You judging? Over here. <laughs> it's the weekend. That's right. We getting stuff accomplished. Up in here. <laughs> What's next on the list? Command hooks inside the closets. Oh, we got to repair the other thing that goes over here. Oh, yeah. That goes right there. That, um, the kids kind of kind of broke off. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Just Shaggy style. I'm showing my age. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty much my last duty for the day. We're gonna have to come back another day and caulk that sky dome. So I came back a couple days later and applied the Dicor uh, caulking. It's a self-leveling caulking. I'll show you uh, exactly which one it is. So the exterior skylight is uh, on and good to go, but as you can see, the I still haven't been able to get the uh, shower dome, the interior dome. So in the meantime, I just put the old one on there just for a little privacy. Yeah, so that's the finished product for the exterior dome. 
This is the stuff that I used. I actually had to go to Camping World and get another one. Seems like good quality stuff. Mission accomplished. So basically what I did was I just filled the uh, original holes which were stripped with uh, these little drywall caps. That'll do the trick. Yep. What do you have left for today, honey? Don't look like... Yeah, I have my little friend. Crap is everywhere right now. Yeah, but it's coming together. Just a bunch of command hooks that we gotta put Oh, up. that's easy. Yeah. Alright, we'll get her down. I don't know if we've given enough value in this video because it's basically us just uh fixing stuff around the rv and getting ready for our trip we did buy this little hydrometer it gives you three settings in, and it'll tell you what these smiley faces it's basically comfort dry or wet and it'll the face will change and you have to stay within these ranges to be comfortable 55 percent to 58 percent and this is going to be really useful once we're up and going, um, because like I said in the earlier video, we have a lot of issues with humidity. So hopefully this will help us stay in an ideal range and it was affordable. I'm sure Maya will put a link in the description if you're interested. So we have literally been out here for hours now. It's starting to get dark, but I think we got a lot accomplished. 90% of it. All right, guys, well, this is gonna wrap up our repair slash organization video. We hope that you found something useful in the video. And if so, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so you guys can get all of our latest adventures and eventually sister lock updates if you're interested. Next week, we will be exploring outside of Virginia a little bit more. So I know most of our videos are based around the Central Virginia area, but we're going to be exploring going a little bit further south. So don't forget to hit that notification bell. Yeah. And on that note, we'll see you on the next one.